on guys? Kyle the from Invigorate here, bringing you guys another episode of 5 Steps to a Best Subclass, or not really steps, but 5 Minutes in a Subclass, and today we're going to be looking over Stormcaller, the brand new Warlock subclass, and I have to say, this subclass has subscri uh, subscribed, has surprised me greatly. I came into the Taken King thinking this was going to be the worst of the three, and honestly, this is one of the best subclasses in the game. It's really good for ad control, and it's honestly just really good in general. So let's get down to the perks. For the grenades, we have the Pulse Grenade, the old uh, Striker Titan Grenade, which, uh, Pops out in a circle. We have the Storm Grenade, which calls down lightning on a certain area, and we have the Arc Bolt Grenade. So for this grenade column, I really think you guys should go with Storm Grenade, just because it's... Well, okay, st part one, it's a badass grenade. Like, this grenade is so cool, I really, really like it. You throw the grenade at a spot, and lightning comes down, and it shocks the floor and everybody near the grenade. Like, yeah, that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in this game. Really good for calling it in on a certain area for PvE, where you have a lot of enemies. And for PvP, it's really good, because you can kind of predict where somebody's going to run and throw it down as opposed to the Arc Bolt, which won't be able to do that much damage. So the Storm Grenade can chain kills pretty easy. Moving into the jump, I think that the Warlock jumps, for all the Warlocks, the best thing you can do is focus burst. It gives you a quick way to get out of the way really fast, especially if you're bursting quick. Uh, generally with my Warlock, and I think you guys should do this as well, when you're moving with your Warlock, you almost want to move more like in short, focused bursts. Hint, hint to the perk, rather than a big, long glide all the way across the map. You're going to want to kind of pop and just... Back and forth across using that focus burst. Now for the super, we have landfall, awesome perk. Superconductor, awesome perk. Ionic blink, kind of cool perk. So this is a really, really powerful column here. And what you choose can ultimately lead to a lot of stuff. Now landfall is really cool. It's basically like titan slamming and then starting your super. So that's like getting two supers in one. That's ridiculous. Landfall is really, really good. It, it literally is a titan slam with the warlock. And then you have Superconductor, which doubles your Storm Trance's Lightning Chaining capabilities. And I just want to point out, it says double on this perk, but it feels like quadruple. You can sit there in PvP and just... And just lighten it, you know, just throw lightning all over everything. I, whenever I use this perk in PvP, we're talking an average of five or six kills with Storm Trance. When you can average killing the entire other team with your super... Use that perk! And not that doesn't even mention PvE. It's extremely good for PvE as well, just for killing all the ads you possibly can. Now, however, Landfall is a really good perk too, and that's why you should have bought these gauntlets, because they give you Landfall. And they're really, really good, for that reason especially. Moving on to the Thunderstrike. This is one of the ones where for PvE and PvP it might be a little different. These, guys, these ones should all say the same for both. Uh, Chain Lightning, uh, not all that great. Amplitude, your Thunderstrike has greater range. You definitely want to be using this for PvP, because you can map people with this perk. You can just... Whoosh, just get them all the way across the map. You can hit them with that lightning, and they will go down quick. Now, Rising Storm, I think, is a little bit better for PvE, just because it can charge everything up faster. That's really one of the one that's up to you guys, though. Uh, Amplitude, I mean, if, if you're close, you might as well get a little bit closer for PvE. I don't think it's going to matter that much. But for PvP, you definitely want to run this one. Moving on my passive talents here, I think... Not, or kind of different to the other Warlocks, I think the Stormcaller needs to be a little bit quick, just because it's kind of more of a fast subclass that rolls around with that lightning. So I tried to go for kind of a really balanced one here. I have armor recovery, as it always should be, as number one on the Warlock, and then I actually have my agility pretty high for a Warlock. Uh, that's, or that is comparing to my other Warlocks, which are both, you know, max, max strength or armor. So that's going to be how I went. I went with Ancestral Order here, and I went with Arcane Force here. Now heading into the uh, first talent tree here, I have Pulse Wave. This perk is another really, really... I mean, this whole column is a bunch of really, really underestimated perks. Pulse Wave, when critically wounded, trigger a Pulse Wave that boosts speed for you and your allies. So basically, every time you go under half health, you are zipping around like a little bird, just, just, just you know, flying across the map. It makes it really useful when you pair this with Focus Burst. You can get away from stuff really, really fast. Uh, feedback incoming melee attacks fully recharge and intensify your Thunderstrike. This is pretty good, but I don't think it's anything worth running home about. I think Pulse Wave's a little bit better. And then Transcendence is alright, but worrying about making sure that your stuff is full before casting your super, a little annoying. Electrostatic Mind. Storming, or Storm Trance charges faster when allies are near. When Storm Trance is active, nearby enemies take damage. This is a great perk, especially because with all the PvE work that needs to be happening in the Taken King, you're going to be near your enemies, and therefore you're getting your super faster. I don't think you can beat this perk in this column. Arc Web is alright. Not really anything impressive, and the perpetual charge is okay, but once again, I think being able to get your super faster, as well as have anything near you take damage in your super, is absolutely incredible. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. That was my five minutes to a subclass guide in the Stormcaller subclass. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be putting out more of these, and I will see you guys later. Peace.